What up, players? It's Warboss Tay back up in this mug, taking a break from doing battle with Kabubu the Magnanimous out in the depths of space to talk to you a little bit about the Death Guard Mark II transfer sheet from Forge World. All of the Forge World transfer sheets are fantastic. I don't think there's any one that I really don't care for that I've seen. I only own a couple myself, and uh, this one I'm going to be using for my Death Guard Breachers commission. It was provided by the client, so um, it, I was really lucky to get my hands on it. I do have the old Death Guard, the Mark I transfer sheet, I guess you could call it, and uh, what an improvement, what a marked improvement the Mark II, what a marked improvement the Mark II sheet is. First of all, you can see there's more color, there's more detail in the uh, in the transfers. You can't really see the white ones too well, but you could take a look at the black uh, transfers over there on the right to see uh, basically what you're looking at. In the middle, they still got that awesome, like almost like script work or uh, etching iconography of the the numbers for their uh, designations. At the bottom left, you can see they've got these fantastic banner like artwork for your uh, banner bearers. You can easily put those onto the large banners and uh, you've got these stylized, much more intricately detailed skulls and I, I love it. You've got the regular skull over there on the right, the riveted more detailed one on the left. You've got the sights, the crossed sights and the hourglass which is a huge motif in the Death Guard. And uh, there are also some new markings that were not in the Mark I. I'm saying Mark so much in so many variations. The uh, one that I'm using for the Breachers that I particularly like is the crossed sights within the laurel with the 14 insignia on the bottom of it. That's not in the other one. You have to actually mix and match with the original uh, transfer sheet to get that uh, combined transfer. But for the Breachers, you can easily just pop one on. And here is a test model that I uh, completely finished and I'm really, really proud of it because the transfers came on really nicely. They went on so well. And all you really need to get yourself to this level is the Microsol and Microset, as well as, uh, I like to use testers spray la lacquer or any kind of gloss coat varnish and then a matte varnish after the paint. But you can see I've got uh, several different transfers there. The tactical marking on the right shoulder pad, the crossed sides, which is a designation that marks this Marine as being particularly honored by the Primarch, Mortarion. The crossed sides is kind of like his way of saying, hey, you're cool, I like you. And uh, I love that they came in a smaller size so that I could really fit it on the little piece of armor there. There you can see the riveted uh, skull and a star. And yeah, here's the Microsoft Microset. So simple, you could get it on eBay, you can get it uh, at your local craft store or hobby store. Spray lacquer by testers. What this does is it creates a nice smooth shell. After you're done painting your model, the paint can rub off if you're gonna try to put the transfers on. You want the paint set and you want a nice protective coat over it and uh, the spray lacquer is really gonna do that. If you wanna get rid of the square shimmery effect of the transfers once the microsol and the microset is on it, then just go back over it with the matte varnish. Vallejo sells matte varnishes and also a gloss varnish if you don't wanna use the tester stuff. But if you really want your transfers to look like they've been painted on or if they have been etched into the armor, you cannot go wrong with microsol, microset, testers or any kind of spray lacquer for uh, setting the model, getting it ready for pre-transfers, pre and then finishing it off with a matte varnish to dull down that shine. I love it. I love the Death Guard Mark II transfer sheet. I love all of the transfer sheets from Forge Road. I'm a huge fan, and uh, they really bring out your model, make them look awesome. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to continue following me, uh, Warboss Taste 2017 Painting Community, check it out. I'm Pickle Duke. <laughs>